Are you applying to dozens of jobs on LinkedIn but getting zero callback? Ever wondered why your profile is not getting views even after solid GPA and good projects? Are VLSI companies ignoring your resume despite having internship experience and tools command? Hi everybody, welcome to VLSI Point where we make your VLSI career path smarter, not harder. Today I'll show you how exactly the LinkedIn's algorithm has changed and what strategies VLSI students must apply to stand out, especially in 2025's competitive VLSI job market. Let's begin with a myth buster that is, easy apply is not your friend. When it comes to apply for a job or internship on LinkedIn, then you just click on a button, upload a generic resume and hope for a miracle. But here's the truth. Most of these roles flooded with 500 plus applications and that too within an hour. The algorithm rarely even lets a human see your resume. So guys, don't mass apply. Instead, focus on high quality personalized applications. LinkedIn's algorithm now favors personalization, engagement and networking. The platform is now shifting from being a static job board to an interactive talent network. Job visibility is tied to how active and engaged you are. Referrals and direct connections matter more than ever. Your profile activity affects where you show up in recruiter search. So now I am going to tell you four step strategy tailored for BLSI students and freshers. First is targeted search. So look for companies that don't rely on easy apply. Small EDA vendors, semiconductor startups and product based companies usually post jobs with custom application links or emails. Second is connect before you apply. Reach out to people working at the company, especially in your specific domain like front-end, back-end, STA or embedded. You can send a short personalized message but remember guys that should not be AI generated templates. Sharing my personal experience, so I get a lot of messages on Instagram, LinkedIn and Telegram from students and most of these messages are AI generated. And frankly speaking, it's not possible for me to read that one page long message and then reply. So that is why I'm telling your message should be short and crisp. Third point is custom resume every time. So instead of simply writing BLSI engineer, you can write BLSI engineer passionate about building scalable RTL design flows for AI hardware. You should tailor your resume title, summary and project highlights to match each job. Fourth point is follow up. A polite message or a comment after applying can significantly boost your visibility. Now let's break down what your LinkedIn profile must include. In headline, not just MTech VLSI student. Instead, you can write aspiring VLSI engineer. Then you can mention the domain. It could be either STA and physical design and based on that some skills like skilled in CTS, floor planning and time enclosure. Here you can mention any specific domain as per your interest. In about section, you can write, I am passionate about solving timing challenges in advanced nodes, recently worked on a low power SOC design using Cadence tools, optimizing CTS delay by 30% and I enjoy deep diving into STA reports and debugging timing violations. In skills part, you can organize them as per the domain. So in front end, you can write like Verilog, System Verilog, UVM, RTL design. In back end, you can write STA, CTS, floor planning, placement, clock tree synthesis. In tools, you can mention whatever tools you have used till now. So like Cadence Virtuoso, Synopsys ICC, Mentor Graphics, Model Sim, etc. Soft skills are very important. So you can mention communication, collaboration and language command. Remember guys, you need to be active on LinkedIn and here's how. LinkedIn is not just a digital resume. It's a living, breathing portfolio. There must be some weekly tasks for students. You can share your learnings, like just simulated a very long FIFO design using models in. Or you can mention any of your project like just simulated very log risk 5 processor design using model sim or using EDA playground. Then you can mention key takeaways like test benches are everything or something like that, which you have learned from that project. 
whatever posts are coming on your linkedin feed try to comment on those posts it will increase the engagement you can follow companies like intel qualcomm synopsys micron amd nvidia etc you can even join vlsi focused groups and that will help you a lot when recruiters see your name often appear but that should be in a meaningful way they recognize you and you become more visible in search results finally coming to referrals so remember guys referrals are the hidden gold so here's how you can get that identify the alumni or mid level engineers working in your target company you can send them a connection request with a simple authentic message and your message should be like hi then the name of that person i am a vlsi student specializing in backend flows i admire your journey at xyz companies here you can mention the company name i would love to connect and learn from your experience once they accept your request then you can ask more about the company you can also ask about the hiring process of the company and work culture don't beg for a job ask insightful questions over the time they might offer to refer you or help you to get closer finally coming to the closing checklist of this video so always remember no easy apply spam connect personally customize every resume before applying make your profile personal and compelling share post and engage weekly organize your skills properly ask for referrals with respect at last networking is the key apart from linkedin there are some other platforms to find vlsi jobs and internships you can apply through nokri.com indeed glassdoor insta hire talent 500 or cut short angel list or well found you can join vlsi whatsapp or telegram group semiconductor company career pages are very helpful so just log in there and you will get the notification whenever there will be any job or internship opening there are some university alumni portals so you can leverage that for referrals showcase your projects on github that can build a strong appearance If you are serious about building a career in VLSI domain then LinkedIn is not optional it's essential don't just scroll be active be intentional and make the platform work for you if you found this video valuable then hit the like button and subscribe VLSI point it's my request to share this video with at least two of your friends who are looking to get a job in VLSI domain desperately To get a personalized roadmap you guys can join one to one career guidance session with me and clear all your doubts you can see here 500 plus students have already joined after finding it useful many students have joined it two three times so if you are interested then just dm me on linkedin or instagram to book your slot see you soon guys till then keep learning and stay curious